Reporting to you live from Trillium Park with my triathlon bike Trekkie. It's live from last week episode 77. Let's go! Welcome you my fellow jaywalkers to another episode of live from last week. Hope last week has served you well. Just a quick shameless plug before we go on. I want you guys to like and share this video and subscribe to the channel. So earlier today when I had a decent night shift at work, post night shift, I took a couple of these traditional nursing uniform pictures with credits to my photographer Amanda, then headed home to take a quick three hour nap before chilling on the couch in the afternoon to watch the movie Top Gun. And once we were done with that, I went to Uber drive the wife to her chiropractor appointment. Then, if you guys can remember, last week when I got new tires for the Mini, I went back to that place called Tire Hut and got those tires retorqued. And after the wife's chiropractic appointment was finished, I drove her to her Pilates class over in Greektown at Motive Fitness. Dropping her off there before I went to Woodbine Beach to play a little beach volleyball. And while I was there, I actually ran into a friend that I haven't seen in quite a long time. Yo, know, just finished up playing beach volleyball at Ashbridge's Bay. And guess who I played with on my team today? Yay! Yeah. <laughs> it's Scott! What's up, Scott? How's it going, brother? Yo, how'd you think you played today? Oh, I played all right, but you made, you made the team look good, man. <laughs> <laughs> As usual. Man, Scott, it was great playing with you. Take care, brother. Yeah, man. <laughs> but yeah, Scott, it was great to run into you and play alongside you earlier this evening. And I'm hoping that later on this summer, we can reconnect to play some twos sometime soon. Anyways, back to the real reason why we checked out Top Gun earlier this afternoon is that tonight, the wife and I are on a movie date since it's Discount Tuesday at the movies to watch the most recent Top Gun movie, Top Gun Maverick which we're gonna go check out right now in D-Box 3D. But before we go catch the movie, we got a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. With the first one going to one of my FCAR friends back in university. This birthday shout out goes out to you, John. Happy birthday, John. And next, we got a birthday shout out to one of my former coworkers, who I honestly miss working with and who also brought positive vibes to the workplace. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Simmy. Happy birthday, Simmy. I'm hoping that all you guys that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But now it's time to go and join the wife inside the theaters and go catch Top Gun Maverick. Guys, last night's movie, Top Gun Maverick, to be honest, was pretty sick with definitely a better storyline than the first Top Gun and the fact that they did their own stunts using real airline fighter jets. Plus, with the added dimension of watching it in D-Box, I can honestly say that if you do choose the D-Box option, this movie is well worth your money. But moving on to when we had our post-movie dinner and recalling the first time I had a Big Mac in a very long time on late night Sunday. First Big Mac in years. Late last night, we went through the McDonald's drive through once again and capped off our movie and dinner date with some fast food. Today's option, the spicy habanero McChicken. Mmm, this sauce is good. Oh yeah, anyways, this evening, we're going to a place called Activate for one of my wife's friend's birthdays.
So to be honest, after our first time ever at that place called Activate, I'm thinking that as you guys can tell by the video, every single person that participated there had a great time. And afterwards, we decided to go to the local Kelsey's right next door to have some birthday dinner with a birthday girl where I had the bacon bourbon barbecue burger along with a delicious beer called, I think, North 45. And of course, we had to sing happy birthday to the birthday celebrant. So yeah, on the theme of birthdays, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Once again, a quick birthday shout out to the birthday celebrant who we celebrated their birthday with tonight, Syra. Happy birthday, Syra. As well as a quick birthday greeting to one of my family friends who I used to see all the time at summer picnics when we were younger. Anyways, this birthday shout out is for you, Holly. Happy birthday, Holly. I'm hoping that everybody that has their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. So earlier today, while I was doing a quick little session on the stationary bike, I just couldn't help but think about the fun times that we were having 24 hours ago at Activate. Okay, oh. Oh my god. This is stressful. <laughs> Where I also got this pretty swaggy water bottle. And I'm thinking about throwing a quick invite to any of y'all out there who want to join me on my next session to activate. So if any of you guys are interested out there, feel free to post a comment or DM me below and we'll definitely set something up. But moving on to earlier this evening, where the mother-in-law and father-in-law came to visit us in the condo. And speaking on the earlier experience of watching the Top Gun movie, we checked out this segment of The Late Late Show with James Corden, featuring Tom Cruise from Top Gun Maverick, who was promoting his movie by taking James out on a ride on one of the airplanes. So guys, I definitely recommend checking that YouTube clip out if you're in the mood to laugh a little bit. Anyways, it's time to say bye to my baby Rouge, going for my first of my two night shifts, and I'll just catch you guys again tomorrow. So this afternoon, in the middle of my two night shifts, I got a couple of shout outs to beach volleyball legends, Bobby and Alex, who posted a couple of things on Facebook today. Change up to Luco to test him out. Oh, that's a great play. Oh, magic from the Canadian team. Letting me know that on the CBC Gem app, as well as the CBC website, that the FIVB Beach Volleyball World Championships started today. So, if you guys can tell, this is what I was doing while editing some of my Live From Last Week footage. And I'm also looking forward to seeing our Canadian Beach Volleyball athletes, Dan and Sam, in Italy try to bring the World Championships home back to Canada. Anyways, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, we have a birthday greeting to one of the funniest friends that I've met at Wysik back when we were both living there. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Devin. Happy birthday, Devin. I'm hoping that at this time, you and your family are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Earlier today, post night shift, after only taking a three and a half hour nap, I checked up on Facebook and realized that it's been exactly one year since I released that live from last week episode where I finally revealed to you guys my mini. So just for you guys, here's a quick little montage of the past year with me and my mini.
But yeah, those were some great times with my mini over the past year. As well, here's a quick little shout out to Dustin to let him know that I'm still taking care of your little baby mini, still driving her around, and I'm hoping that you and your new vehicle Edna are enjoying yourselves as well. But moving on to other events of the day, concerning some big news with my Blue Jays, where they just recently recalled their number one prospect out of the farm system, the young 22 year old who is a promising up and coming catcher of the future, Gabby Moreno of whom I'm really excited to see perform at the big league level and I'm hoping that this is just a start for the incredible career of young Gabby Moreno. Anyways, after wrapping up watching the Blue Jays game this evening, I decided to take my triathlon bike, Trekkie, and take her out for her first spin around Toronto since I had that event last Sunday, the bike for brain health. And going around the familiar Ashbridge's Bay area, riding around the waterfront trail for the first time since I was living downtown pretty much, passing by the section of the gardener that was demolished last year, I biked westbound for about an hour until I got to this place. A place where I've seen many of my friends post from, especially because of its beautiful scenic views at the former Ontario place called Trillium Park. And I don't know if you can hear in the background, but you can hear it at the local Budweiser stage, the Lumineers playing their concert tonight. You're my sweet. But anyways, it's getting a little bit dark out and I'm thinking I might as well get back home, make my way on an hour trek back to Scarborough and try to catch up on some sleep. But before I do, I have a quick birthday shout out to one of my FSAT friends back from university days. This birthday shout out goes out to you Priscilla. Happy birthday Priscilla. I'm hoping that you and your family at this time are doing well, staying safe and healthy, and that you had a great celebration for your birthday this year. Good Sunday morning, y'all. Don't know if you can hear, but there are some church bells in the background, because I'm about to head in and hit up Sunday Mass at St. Lawrence the Martyr. So after attending Mass at that beautiful church, which I haven't been to in over a month, I decided that I wanted to do a quick little stationary bike session. The only thing was, whenever I tried to pedal, the crankshaft once again would come out of alignment. So I decided to take apart the crankshaft of the stationary bike and saw that my circlip that holds the crankshaft in place had, well, also come out of place. So I was thinking the circlip was a little bit loose, needing to be replaced. And once I was able to take the circlip out, I decided to go to my local Canadian Tire to see if they had any circlips on for sale. The only thing is, once I got there, they told me they didn't have any in stock. So I decided to go back home, reinstall my circlip, and do a quick 30 minute session back on the stationary bike. And after I was done my exercise session for the day, going back to this scene from last week's episode, I had a surprise waiting for me in the kitchen. Our brand new oven slash stove slash air fryer kitchen appliance. I decided to make use of my brand new oven and stove for the first time today. So we went on to grill some steaks on the stove top as well as make some asparagus in the oven. And once that was done, we set the table and enjoyed our beautiful meal before I go in for my first of my two night shifts tonight. And as you guys can see, this was a very delicious and pleasurable dinner experience put forth by both me and the wife. And for now, I'm going to take a quick 30 minute nap, get ready for work, and I'll just see you guys again tomorrow. Guys, after my night shift, once again, I just couldn't stay asleep. But I'm thinking I know just the reason why. It's because over the past couple of weeks, I've been planning an outing for me and my coworkers to go catch a Jays game. And well, last night, I was able to secure ourselves a row of Blue Jays tickets to Tuesday night's game. So be on the lookout for that segment in next week's episode. And speaking of events, I'm remembering that at the Halsey concert last weekend, recalling this scene from last week's episode, in addition to other things that happened during the event, which unfortunately for you guys are stories that will have to wait for another day. In between the performances on the stage, the wife and I checked out this area where you can play mini golf and have an opportunity to win some prizes. So check this out. Come on! Yes! 
And after scoring a hole in one on one of the courses and having an overall score of five strokes on the three holes that we played, I was able to win this prize. Which I think they mistakenly given me a woman's t-shirt. But once I said something, I was able to trade in that prize for a men's medium. Yeah. Hey Nika, every time I come to a concert here oh, at the Budweiser stage, I get a t-shirt. <laughs> and staying on the good vibes here, I recently got note from my tita that my brother-in-law just welcomed a brand new puppy to the family. So we're welcoming little Sesame to the fam. And I can't wait to see this little one in person in the near future. Anyways, before I go in for my second of my two night shifts tonight, we have a couple of birthday greetings for you guys today. Starting off with one of my friends that I met at World Youth Day for 2011 when we went to Europe with that church group. This birthday greeting goes out to you, Reese. Happy birthday, Reese. And lastly, I got a belated birthday greeting to one of my friends that I met and ran into at the Richmond Night Market who coincidentally is also from Toronto and took a picture of me for my new profile picture. This birthday shout out goes out to you, Bea. Happy belated birthday, Bea. I'm hoping that all my friends that have their birthdays today are doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time, and had a great celebration for your birthdays this year. But similar to yesterday, I'm gonna take a quick nap, get ready for work, and wrap up this week's episode. So if you guys have enjoyed what you've been watching, Feel free to follow G Walker POV on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. Be sure to like and share this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notifications bell to be notified when new videos from G Walker POV come out. And once again, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Stay safe and healthy out there, and we'll see you next time on Live from Last Week.